Hey, it's been a while. I got a guitar yesterday. Tuned it today. I do not know how to play guitar, so please forgive me. Forgive me. Uh, yeah, I tuned it a bit. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm a little sick. Let me show you what I got recently. All right, so I got my financial broker. Not bad, right? I got my plate, which is not bad. Finished most of my securities license, so now I'm able to do 401ks and everything. And you know, just to get to black feels just amazing. That was a couple of weeks ago. It's been how, how long has it been? Two weeks. Let me just double check real quick. So it's been two weeks since I'm, the last video that I made. And before that, it was another two weeks. So it's been a month. It's been a little over a month. I'm actually behind 40. How many videos? 40. For, <laughs> 43 videos. I'm behind. So this is a video that's going to be for 43 videos. This is a video that each you know that's equal to 43 videos and i'm just gonna just gonna you know just put a little aesthetic right there you know i used to know how to play the pink panther i'm not sure if you're so ah oh, damn let me so it was like um <clears throat> That's all I remember. So it's you need all these two. Mm -hmm. Can you switch it up too? Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. Pinky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you go banana -na -na I forgot which that one was. But hey. Hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. I got it yesterday. I can't be, you know, what is the name? Hemmerich's what you know, that's another thing I realized. I'm so bad with general culture, it's just incredible. I went to Guitar Center, I did not know shit. I went to a micro center, which is this cool center where there's a lot of electronics and shit, so you can build your own computer, 3D printer, all that stuff. And to be honest, I I knew like this, like a small curated amount of whatever the hell was going on at that place. It was just insane. There's so much that I don't know. And even when I talk to like little kids, they're talking to me like, oh yeah, this is like a Boeing, like a Boeing airplane. I'm like, I look at this airplane. I didn't know it was a Boeing airplane. And the little kid has like eight years old. And they're like, yeah, this is a Boeing airplane. You see the controversy and all that stuff. I'm like, dude. You know more than I do about the world. Oh, my God. I feel like I live under a rock. <laughs> well, there's nothing to actually laugh at. That's actually very concerning. But that's just my coping mechanism. <laughs> now, that that I do I did find quite funny. Um, Self-awareness is hilarious to me. Mm, what else can I say? So, it's been a while. It's been a month. Wow, a lot of ups and downs. I went to Colombia recently, visited my parents, well, my parent, my mother. And uh, yeah, it was, it was nice. It really felt like I just, I should have just stayed in Colombia. What am I doing here? I know I'm here to, to progress, you know, do better with my life, but I truly feel like I haven't. It's been like two, two years and a half, almost going to three. I really feel like I haven't done nothing. I mean, I have zero daughters, zero football zero dollars sorry to my name um i have you know a plate that allows me to do business which is cool but i feel like i don't have enough skills to actually use it it's just i feel i know i know the material but i don't feel like i have enough non entrepreneurial spirit to use it and I, i'll feel really not ashamed but kind of sad if i just use that and you know work somewhere else nine to five I mean, I'm, I'm trying to trying to escape that in order to go back to Colombia or, or do a remote job or something yeah so it's it's been a very like, up and down life you know up and down ride so it's been 43 43 huh, wow 43 videos that I'm that I haven't done you know?
lost my uh, other streak. Those who've been watching me know what the one I'm talking about. And since then, I'm like declining my energy levels. And yeah, I've lost my uh, gym streak too, my exercise streak. So it's been it's been like a month and a half of losing my gym streak. Two, two or three months since losing my other streak and one month since losing my uh, video streak so it's been oh yeah and i stopped reading wow it's been a really shitty month man i mean i want to give myself excuses but i was studying for like four hours a day to finish up those licenses and then i had to go to a trip to the convention it's like a work convention where you can see the possibilities see how people made it all that stuff awesome really good stuff so that took a toll on me for like a week i'm like all right i'm just gonna da, da, da. then i kept working my ass off i got a couple clients which is really good for me so last month it was really good where i got uh, a couple clients and i was you know building my confidence and all that but then you know this month i have to move i'm moving next week yeah, a lot of stuff going on, man. I'm moving next week. Um, I went to Colombia this weekend because I had to run an errand. And plus, I had to visit my family. You know, it's been a while. And yeah, no, my other family. I haven't seen my family from that side, from my mother's side, in six years. And plus, I haven't seen my mother in like a year. So that's like, I had to, you know. She's been missing me a lot. I'm her only son. She's basically all alone without me. So I can't just not go, you know. So, yeah. So, this month, man, I'm, like, broke. I'm broke, broke. I'm, I went into credit card, my credit cards. And let me tell you, I, I didn't owe my credit cards. I used 50% of it. I know you're supposed to use 30 or 10% less. You know, I know that shit. But circumstances, I couldn't. And, uh, yeah, wow. And then my credit score went, like, down, like, 30 points. Like, holy shit. And why do you go down 30 points if I paid off and I didn't go above 55%? How? Why? Oh, my God. It's just, oh. And this month, I'll probably do the same because I don't have any money. Well, the money I do have or I'm going to have because this week is payday. I'm going to use it, you know, um, for moving, to pay, like, you know, the deposit. I'm moving in with Claudia, which is a good friend of my mother's family friend. She's known me since I was little, like, really little. And, like, almost, yeah, like, I was, since I was five. So really tight, really um, close, responsible human being. And she's looking for a place to, she look, She was looking for a place to move that has a kitchen because she's like suffering from like weight, you know. She moved into a place where the place prior had one, but she's moving into one that, she moved into one that didn't for a couple of months. So her diet was like shit. She's like, no, I need a place to cook so I can stabilize my diet. And, you know, plus I want a place to cook. Here, I mean, I share this place with like 20, not 20, not 20. 12 people, which feels like 20 sometimes. So 12 people like using, well, upstairs bathroom mostly, yeah, but like the kitchen, everyone uses the kitchen. And it feels kind of, eh, you know, I don't have any, you know, plate, plates or pans or shit like that. So do you use somebody else's? I was like, eh. And, you know, like, should I buy a pan? And then I'm like, all right. But then when I'm going to use it, since everybody's using it, and then it feels kind of awkward and just me being there, you know, a lot of people coming in and out and me in my pajamas. I just want to make myself a little whatever, you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's a mess. But now I'm going to move into a place where just us two. So it's us two, our private, you know, bathroom, just the two of us share that. Private, you know, kitchen, two of us, just the two of us shares that private entrance only the two of us goes in and out of that like a little apartment which is really nice you know own parking spot good and it's affordable and the people that work that live there you know landlords or whatever apartment managers however you want to call it um they're pretty cool people and i talk to them and then they're like willing to help me out they say oh you're young and you're this and that and this and that so I really want to take their, you know, take them up on their opportunities and what they were telling me. Because I, I really need a better job. I know friends that are making like three times what I make. And it's like good for them. and But they spend that money so poorly. I'm like, God damn it. If I had that money. Man, if I had that money. 
you know, but most importantly, if I had skills, if I had those skills, you should think about that. If I had those skills, but now I have some skills. Like I just got this, like, well, when was it? Like last month, I just got this last month. A whole lot of shit's been happening this month that hasn't allowed me to just really think about what the hell I'm going to do with that. But I had some clients. All right, cool, 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 cool. But I need more. And what I need is a car. I need a car. I thought it was luxury at first, but now you do. I need a car just, just to get that boost of me just being like, yeah, I can pick you up. Or yeah, I can go to your house, client of mine. Cool. That's just, I just need a fucking car. And with a car, I'm able to just easily, like emotionally wise, just move, change jobs. I can't, like, it takes a toll on me to ask for people, you know, to, hey, can you give me a ride here? Even if I'm paying them, you know, or I can do Uber, but that's like, I mean, like, you know, some jobs around the area that I'm able to get, you know, that's like within the uber budget range because it's remember in my area if i had a car i don't care if i have to commute 30 30 minutes 45 minutes if it's a good job and it has a lot of opportunities i'll save more on just doing that car you know with a car than just paying uber but like around my area the 20 to 30 dollar limit range per day for no per session for you know per, per trip like it doesn't it's not worth i'll just be equal zero you see what I mean? So I'll earn more if I switch jobs, but then like the Uber, the Uber, there you go, back to where I will, where I am. So why would I change right now? Like it's stupid. But pronto, pronto. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna get a part time job, and if I do get a part time job, I am not sure how much. How am I gonna juggle part time, full time, um, trying to get clients, or at least you know top of mind practice sales practice talking to people guitar at least you know some hobbies so they stress reading and i do want i i want exercise that's it i just want exercise and learning those two things apart from whatever the hell i have to do every day i just want those two things a day i have those two things in my routine like period I, I don't care. Life will be good if I just didn't practice guitar. I'm also learning Russian just just a little bit just just to have like this little taste of something fresh in my mind, you know, but you know, not like, rah, 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 you know, just casually instead of wasting my time social media, if I want something fun, I'm like, all right, da, привет, jebret, you know, stuff like that. A little, little, little learning that. Yeah, I mean, this video counts for 43 videos, so that's that's how my life has been. Um, life with my, uh, you know, life with my girlfriend. She is, uh, I swear to God, every month, every day, every week, I'm just more and more happy to be with her. But I feel like every week and every month, I realize how close I am to just losing her for me being just a piece of shit of a human being and me not... You know, I'm not a bad person, but where I'm going, my potential and like the things that I'm doing, the habits are just like, if I continue this path, I will amount to nothing. If I continue this path, I will amount to nothing. If I fucking continue this path and that scares me and obviously that puts me straight back on the path. Life fucking happens. Shit happens. Dopamine, whatever. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my mind, heart, body. I don't know. But then you know, just go back on it. And then I have to remind myself and just bam, 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 bam. And it's just emotionally draining. But you know the part what emotionally drains me the most? You know, trying to start like a business, talking to people, doing this and that. The amount of no's that I've had is just, at first, I'm like, I don't care if I have enough no's. But it's just that the amount, the sheer amount of no's and the sheer amount of effort not paid. And the fact that it's like you put this much effort that you feel like, you know, you deserve something, you don't, you know, so the, so I know you have to do even more effort to get this result, but it's like, oh my God, do I have enough energy to do this amount of effort for that little thing? Do I really have that amount of energy? Right now, I don't think so, man. I like, I'm, I'm sorry to understand the sheer amount of work. I'm like, is it worth it? It might be, but do I have the energy to do it? I don't think so. I don't think so. And if I continue to do it and fail, I think I will just keep growing bitter because that's what I've noticed. Me doing this amount of work and not having anything is just bitter. 
So I have to change that attitude. I have to change my other habits, my, you know, streak habits, my sleep habits, my workout habits, my, you know, um, diet has been pretty good. Diet and water, that's what, those are like the two things, and skincare, those are like the two things that have been, three things that have been still strong. You know, ups and downs, but consistent, not, not the, like, not the, yeah, whatever, consistent. Everything else I just need to prove upon, man. And uh, that's just, yeah. What's the key to, to consistency? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. But one thing's for sure, I'm not going to give up. Because the day I give up, I'm just going to shoot myself for the insurance money. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Uh, 43 videos that I owe you guys, that I owe myself. Because I do this for myself. But to show my future kids, future whoever whoever sees this, but not mostly for my future self, you know. I'm 21 years old, and so far I don't have a car. I have a, I have my uh, my plate. You know, I'm able to get securities license. And I'm able to actually help families, like genuinely help them. Save up for a house. Save up for college. Save up for retirement. For whatever their needs. And give them proper recommendations. I'm actually able to do this. And I'm very proud of this. But I want to use this. And not make it go to waste. It's been, a, it's been a hell of a ride with that one man. Like late night studying. And learning and learning and learning. That's the, like, the one thing that I can say. Like I know a little bit more than, than the average person. Everything else. I don't know. And uh, yeah man. I just want to use that. That's, that's all right. So no car, not really, you know, as fit as I want to be. I'm healthy, but I'm not as fit as I want to be. Um, yeah, live. I live by myself in this economy. I um, I take care of my mom, take care of my girlfriend. Um, I don't have a lot of friends. I have a very few amount of friends that I treat like brothers and we're brothers. We're just, it's an amazing bond. So I am, I'm not alone. I know that, but I just don't want, I just don't have like the emotional energy to have new friends. Even if I feel like, oh, they're awesome or whatever. It's just, it's hard for me to not care, but care, you know, care as much as I want to with friends, with what I think friends should be. Yeah, a lot of self-healing, but I think the most importantly is just having better habits and finding a way to stick to them. Like if the going goes if the going gets tough, finding a way to stick to all that shit, man. Wow. All, so all I wish is that when I get to a new place next week, I have a better mentality. I have a better clear understanding of what the fuck. I can improve upon. I do have it right now, but I can start executing it better. Like I'm going to have my own kitchen. So food is going to be a lot easier for me to just plan it out in the future. So I can just worry less on that. I don't have to, I don't have to spend money on Uber Eats, late nights Uber Eats. If I fuck up my diet plan, I'm starving at the end of the day. So I don't have to fuck up that way. Um, yeah. And I, I, I used to rely on cans, you know, when I'm really hungry, low, I should get a can. That was affecting me, like my system. My system was like I ate. So, was, I was on cans when I got here after you know I moved in September of last last year. I was on cans for like six months. And then I you know balance it out. I'm good financially. And then when I came back here, I was on cans for like another four to five months. Just cans, just just the cheapest, healthiest thing you can get for as cheap as possible. And I, my stomach, I kid you not, got fucked up. I was so fucked up, like, my stomach-wise. I was just fucked up. Like, it was healthy enough to a point where my skin is good. Like, I feel good, but, like, my gut. Well, I feel good, like, alive, not starving-ish. But my gut, man, it was just, yeah. I don't want to put too much details, but the bathroom, man, oof. Uh, so I don't want to go back to cans. I don't care if I have to pay more for now. I'm going to get a kitchen. Then I'm going to save. I'm going to do 
good. I'm going to cook. Finally, I can just improve on my skills because I like to cook. I like to cook. Yes, I admit it. Uh, yeah. So that's that. And I want to get a part time, man. I just want to get a fucking part time. Part time until I get a car. And when I get a car, I'm going to get a better full time. When I get a full time, I can quit, either quit my part time or find a better part time or just improve in my business. And well, I, I want to go full on my business or like more back on in my business. I have at least at least a suit, man. People don't. I know it's OK. I understand if I if, if you want to put your life savings and make sure it's OK. Would you rather I dress up like this, which is not it's not bad, it's my pajama clothes, but I have like better shirts. But would you rather I dress up like you know, it's like this or with a professional suit? Think about it. You want a professional suit because you know you require that. You want to feel secure. You want to know that I'm up on my game, which I do, but I don't. I don't look like it. I don't have a card, so so it's like sometimes like I have a client and it's like oh. Yeah, let me just, I don't have somebody to take me there. And um, yeah, let me just get Uber. And then like, oh, then, yeah. And then when the, when the appointment is done, like, yeah, let me just take Uber again. You know, secretly, you know. Like, uh, and then I can't get Uber on my phone because my phone is really shitty. Not shitty, but it's very shitty. And uh, yeah, and I can't have Uber my phone Uber because I don't have enough storage. So, so it's like I have to call someone to help me get the fucking Uber, and it's just it's horrible. Let me tell you, man, it's horrible. Just the coordination wise, there's a lot of things just not in my favor, which I'm not giving an excuse. I still talk to clients to do what you got to do, man. But I feel like that's kind of like. That's kind of like not, that's kind of like points that are not going favor for them to give me more referrals. That's like, he's good, but should I recommend them? What would they think? I think that's what they're, and then to be, on, to be honest, I would think that too. If I want to get a suit, I just want a car. I want like a cheap, not cheap, 3K, 3 to 2, 3 to 4K car. You know, no problems. Enough for me to drive for two years and then sell it, switch it out for another one that I can drive for another two years around like that, you know? That, at least one pair of suits, but I want five. I think I heard from, what was his name? What was his name? Steve Harvey. Yeah, Steve Harvey. I was like, there's five colors. First, I'm going to check my colors because I, I do believe scientific wise. Or some some wise, like some some people look better in certain colors than others. That I believe. So I'm gonna check which ones I'm looking good at them, and of those that I look good on them, which of them can look good on each other? If I just pair it, swap it out, like Steve Harvey was saying, you know, you get teal, you get this, 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 and then you switch it out, and then you have like a like forty different combinations. That's what I want. That's what I want. And once I get those five. Forget it. I'm not buying any more. Nothing. That's it. That's it. Those. Those are the ones. And then after that, I think I'm good. I'll probably just get like an iPad. The cheapest iPad possible because to, uh, I have a gaming PC. So sometimes I have to either bring the gaming PC or just do it. You know, it's just it's a mess. The gaming PC, you, it's it's a gaming laptop. Sorry, not PC laptop. It's a gaming laptop, and let me tell you, it's it's a hassle. It's heavy. Sometimes I make noise. It's a little dirty, but that's mean you can clean that up. But most importantly, it's hard for me to. It's just when I'm on the go. Most of my clients are not like appointments. I wish there were appointments, but most of them are like, "Hey, yeah, I do this. Oh, yeah, when can we set them up?" Like. Oh, we can do, I'm free right now. And right now, my PC is all the way back on. My this is all the way back on. I'm trying to explain something to you. And I don't have some more digital way for you to see it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I would love that. I'm like, oh, yeah, let's schedule something. Like, no, I could, this is something so simple. I could do this in five seconds or like five minutes if I had my laptop. 
No, I need an iPad. That way, oh yeah, you want something? Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Yeah, sign it up. We'll do it right now. No problem. I can do it on the go. On the go. Preparedness. I would make more that way. And I'll be I'll feel better too. So imagine if I feel with a suit. That's like an emotional, psychological thing, me having a suit will improve. Also, I'm not gonna lie. That would boost my confidence a bit. I'm not gonna lie. So that dressed apart iPad ready to go car with the car I'm gonna go to every just meet up free event I'm just gonna talk to people I'm just gonna talk network talk and 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 then with the free cash that I'm have I'm gonna invest in ads invest in ads invest in ads I'm just gonna learn marketing I'm gonna learn talking to people sales whatever I'm just going to learn those two. I'm just going to repeat until I get better at those two while I'm learning more stuff, which would be I want to finish. I've already got most of my license, but I'm missing the 65, which allows me to be an investment advisor. And per se, I'm right now I'm a financial broker, but I'm going to be a financial advisor, not investment, but financial advisor. With that, I'm able to help you, anyone, and charge cash for the advice, not for the services. Right now, I do charge commission or a percentage for the services that I provide to you. But trust me, it's better than you trying to do it through another third party platform online. They will charge you way more and you will not understand what the hell you bought, what the hell you're doing, what the hell you're saving up for, where the hell your funds are going. So trust me, it's better. I'm not, I'm not, how do you call it? I'm not um, um, bamboozling or what do you call it? scamming people. I'm not scamming people whatsoever. If I there's certain things that I feel like are kind of scammy, and I don't do it. And that's the reason why I'm not as big as some people are in this company, in this, you know, enterprise or whatever. I don't do that. And I don't push people. Like, I'm a, I'm not, I don't want to be a sales guy that pushes too much or whatever. I just want to, like, I want to be able to help people. I just, just want to be able to help people. And if you don't want to be helpful, fuck it. Screw you. I'll just talk to somebody else. Not screw you, but you know what I mean. Like, all right, cool. No problem, man. Let's go. That, that's what I want to do. And that, the only way that I can do that is by getting a car. Because right now, if I want to talk to people, I can't. Like, I'll, if there's an event, I go. I have a friend who will take me. And then I don't want to depend on that where I can just get Uber. But then when I want to get an Uber, I feel like that need to, oh my God, I spent like, 30 40 bucks getting here i mean i have to get numbers and i feel that itch that itch of just like man i spent money man ah, you know what i mean that commission breath that salesy i don't want to feel that way i want to get a car that way like yeah i'm paying the car but i pay the car for everything cool i'll just get there enjoy myself and i don't have anything no pressure i'm gonna i'm gonna do it yeah i'm not gonna feel pressure if i get something i'm just gonna do it with intention of being better that's it, mental wise. That's it. A lot of things I have to fix up here, but most of it is just tools, man. I just want, I want that. So the car, get my Series 65. I have a 1K emergency fund because right now I've, I've been using that. I just want to have a 1K emergency fund like I have had, but just keep it that way. Just have it and just not dive into it for a while. That, that, that. So car, 65, security license. Um, 1k emergency fund and at least five two or one or whatever suits that's it oh an ipad so five things five things that i want now you may ask that's a lot of money and i'm gonna say it is how many get that money with my normal job you can't well you can but it'll take me like um, six months so i don't have six months i'm gonna do it now and I can't wait another six months because another six months, that's another six months of my life. Well, I'll feel even worse for waiting. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get a part-time. And when I'm going to get a part-time, I'm going to get a part-time. And I'm going to use that part-time to work until about my birthday. About, -ish, hopefully, a little less, a little more. And then, with flat, I'm going to buy everything that I just said. I'm going to be free, ready, locked and loaded to go when I'm 22. And when I'm 22, this channel is going to be a little different. Because now it's not 21 documentary, document like average 21. It's going to be 22 creatives. Sneak peek. Because I'm a creative person. I do this because I want money. 
I do this because I want to build up freedom. Not money. I don't care about money. I just want freedom. Freedom to give the people that I love what they want. And freedom just for able to me to do and create stuff without the need of worrying if they have they have food or not. That's what I want. Freedom. I do this ironically to have freedom. So I have to dive deeper into nine to five and part-time slavery in order to just get out. It's crazy, it's ironic, but sometimes you have to play the system to beat the system. That's it. All right, this counts for 43 videos. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This is what you're gonna get. I hope this was worth it. I hope my to myself this is worth the wait. And yeah, yeah, I'm a little sick, but I'm fine. I hope you have one for that. I hope. I'll see you again soon. Hopefully. No promises.